there's actually someone else in the tunnel now. But this is completely curved, so presumably in the middle it will be pitch dark. It is indeed. Deliberately carved into the embankment. It was right by the viaduct as well. Yeah, right by the viaduct, just north of the two tunnels. Good morning everybody. Um, welcome to... Where... Simon, where are we? Not that I've introduced Simon, this is Simon everybody. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Glenfarg, just north of Glenfarg. Yeah, just north of Glen... Uh, just north of Glenfarg, heading towards yep. Perth. And um, we're looking at just a short, punchy little video today. Well, we're looking for a couple of tunnels and a couple of viaducts. Yep, two viaducts, two tunnels. Okay. And what line do we find ourselves on today? Uh, we're on the Glenfarg Railway. Glenfarg Railway, simple as that. Okay. Makes it easy. It makes it nice and easy. <laughs> um, and I think we're coming up to possibly the tunnel number one, is that yeah, correct? We're coming up on the Glenfarg Viaduct, which immediately leads into Glenfarg South Tunnel. Excellent. Now, we're not going to punch loads of different random facts about this because Simon's already made a very good video about this. Very detailed, all sorts of weird and wonderful quirks about this tunnel. It was um, a long time ago, though. It was a long time ago, six <laughs> years ago, I believe, Simon. That's right. And that's how we found Simon. Um, and we've been talking for about a, about a year now, I suspect. And we've been meaning to come up to Scotland and we thought, well, now we're here, it would be rude not to say hello to Simon and get a little tour from him. So, first stop, Glenfarg Viaduct. Um, very beautiful. So it must have been, had grand aspirations. This was the main line. And yep. the only reason it's no longer the main line is that they stole loads of the track bed for the M90. Oh. Right, okay. So if you were coming up the M90 through Glenfarg Village, the M90 runs across the old station along the track there, and then north of the tunnels, uh, the M90 then runs down the hill along, along the old track bed as well. Right, and so when was it closed? Uh, closed in 1970, so it's a much later closure yeah. than most of them. So okay. it, it wasn't a beaching cut, it was purely to do with the motorway. Are our, our, um, Scottish railway workers slimmer than... English railway work because this is there's not a lot of room there, is there? If I'm thinking, I've got to get out of the way. So we're just talking with Simon. It's a it's a very beautiful portal, as often railway tunnels are. And now this was one of the first, or it was the first. I believe it's either the first or one of the first to use concrete in its entirety to line the tunnel. Yeah, okay. So we've got a beautiful portal, and then we've got a concrete all the way through on the inside. There's no wonderful bits of masonry to look at, or brickwork. But perhaps, you know, perhaps then they were thinking this is, this is a newfangled technology. This concrete is a wonderful money-saving... Um, yeah. It's kind of the joke for me is that obviously this pioneered the concrete and then you know the, the famous Glenfinnan viaduct which everyone knows for Harry Potter is just this big concrete thing similar yeah. to a 1960s car park. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few of these in both the tunnels and that gives you an idea of the thickness of the concrete. Oh, wow. And that, they're basically inspection holes, so they yep. walk that through, so Trade Board of Inspection or whoever it was could yep. look in and see how thick the lighting was. So this is an was. original feature? Yeah. And I believe the quote is it was, the concrete was declared infinitely better than the stone and brick. Wow. I might get that quote wrong. That's a half decent size compared to the London Viaduct, isn't it? <laughs> you, can see, a bit you can see the original rock cut in the back of that. Yeah. yeah. So that separate to the rest. I mean, I have no idea how they would how they how they would go about laying concrete in a tunnel. But that, so the, so the section down the middle, like you said, they're almost a keystone part, is separate. Almost it looks it, doesn't it? I'd imagine they maybe because it's new to them, they've tried to apply it as close to the old brick style or the yeah yeah um, masonry style as they can. Yeah, thinking oh, we do need some kind of um, you know point there where the other butts against it there we go um so we're, we're probably what 150 yards from the end now we have certainly just started the curve so were there any construction shafts do we know i don't think so in this tunnel i've been over the top and i've not seen anything yeah nothing obvious 
I think they might be in the second one. Okay. So we've made it to the northern portal of the, um, the first Glenfrock Tunnel. Um, quite interesting. Certainly very unique in terms of what we've seen before with um, concrete lined. Right, so onwards to Vardak to another tunnel. Uh, next we've got another tunnel. So you've got like the, the stonework and then the brick. Yep. And then it, the stonework stops. Yep. And the concrete starts. But the okay. brick carries on all the way down the middle. The brick carries on all the way through the, through the roof. And then you get halfway in and then it's all concrete. And then when you get to the other side, it mirrors itself so it kind of ends yep. the way it starts. Okay. Very curious, isn't it? These are the things you never really get to find out. What was going through the heads of the contractors that why built it and why they did that sort of thing. And this tunnel as well, unlike the last one, is completely curved. Okay, and how far are we talking compared to the last one? Remind uh, me again, sorry The last son. one was 517, this one's 507, there's really not much Okay, no difference really, but this is completely curved. So you, you think we're looking at a um, shaft point then? That's certainly... Yeah. And is that the only, we said that was the only one potentially? Um, only one I've ever located, or think I've located, but it, it just screams shaft to me. That Whether or not it is, I don't know. Yeah. I've got no proof one way or the other. But That one looks more obvious, doesn't it? It's yeah. obviously something. I mean, why else would there be so much water damage around that in a square shape, yeah. right in the centre of the... Of the yeah. Line? Northern end of Glenfarg North. Complete two tunnels ticked off for today. Uh, one violet, and we've got one more violet to go. Yeah, one more. It's a bit, it gets a bit lost in the woods, but it's nice when you find it. Yeah, okay, right, that sounds perfect. So I'm guessing we're looking at a little plate there to help. I guess, maybe? I Assuming mean, something to do with the railway anyway. Um, I'm going to say it's a plate there to help because it's deliberately carved into the embankment. It's right by the viaduct as well. Yeah, right by the viaduct, just north of the two tunnels. Go, go for it. You do um, that. I think you're 99% right. Oh wow! What a little treat this is. I, I'm sure it's a plate layer up. We've seen very similar before. Um, even got a little shovel in here, people. Little shovel for the for the fire. That's original or not? I don't know, but it could well be because it's it's only the end of the shovel. Very much similar to the Border Counties line, Rebecca. Is it? Yeah. Um, almost. It's made out of sleepers. Well, that, that was a treat and a half, you lot. Cool. Do you want to see inside? It's really cool. Of course, I'm going to look I've never been in. I've never actually been in. Have you not been in before? Yeah, is, have a look at that. I was really tempted when you were doing your speech to just... Yeah, <laughs> bowl in. Oi, get him off, get him off, man. <laughs> no, Simon, the local who pointed out this plate layers hut to us, has not been in it before. Simon, that's a crime. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just keep <laughs> walking past it. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, little, little, it's a pet layers hut every day of the week, I'm sure. It's made out of sleepers, it's got a little fireplace in it. It's next to the railway, next to the viaduct, as you say. Well, we're going to try and climb down and join Rebecca again without breaking something. Rebecca's filming, just in case we do break something. Oh. And we're both filming something, in case something falls. Yay! Oh, 
Wow. Even still. It's yeah. It's really difficult for you to see the scale on camera. Um, and it's really difficult for us to show you in pictures because it's so well hidden. Um, and it's so well uh, covered. It's certainly this time of year. And I think it's even worse from this south side. Hmm. Right, one last treat for the day before we sign off. A couple of abandoned cottages, which sounds like we're some kind of urbex exploring channel all of a sudden. Let's do that. I can't promise we're in any kind of going of the state anymore. <laughs> But we should call this video Abandoned Cottage in the Woods. Yeah, you've got a bit of twig over your lens. And I've ruined it by being on the phone as well. <laughs> I've ruined Brilliant. Nothing. <clears throat> um, well, that'll get a bit of a sign off, haven't we, really? Yeah. So we've done two of the Glenfarg tunnels, or all of the Glenfarg tunnels. No, it was that way. No, it was that way. <laughs> um, two viaducts, very beautiful viaducts, and an abandoned cottage. Well, what about that for a little video? Big thanks to Simon for joining us today and giving us a guided tour, which I believe he's given to a thousand people. You need to start charging, probably, Simon. Yeah, I'll do the full tour at 1995 per head. Yeah. 1995 sounds like a good price. Yep. <laughs> right. Thanks. Big thanks, to Simon. Um, We'll see you next time. Yeah. So there's actually someone else here. Now. Make it sound like it's a scary experience. Yeah. Mm. Even though it looked like just a regular couple going for a walk. Don't don't ruin the clickbait, Simon. <laughs> but that's what I'm here for. This is the hook. <laughs>